Futures trading is risky and can result in substantial financial loss. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, traders from across the globe. Welcome to Short Term Trading Live with Oscar. We are the short term traders with the long term plan. And that plan is to still be here every day in order to do this trading. And in order to do that, you have to come up with a trading plan every day, every single evening. Come up with a strategy for the next day and act the strategy out. If you come up with a plan, stick to the plan, stick to your guns. Always do that. We have strategies mapped out for tomorrow. We have three. Count them. One, two, three green omnis, baby. Will that work? Well, how am I supposed to know what he's asking me for? I don't know if it's going to work, but I've done my homework. I've checked the analysis. I'm going to show you a few charts in a couple of moments on the board behind me. And then you do your homework and see if these three green omnis make sense to you. We have one in the S&P. One in the NASDAQ and one in gold. Yesterday, I did a video about gold. In fact, I mentioned that you should buy second day down in gold. Well, let me step back. I actually did the second day down in the yen, but I mentioned that we were looking to sell the gold, looking for the same sort of action, second day down, and then you become a buyer. And we talked about getting long indices, selling yen. Indices went up, gold went down, yen went down. So far, so good. Our scope is in line. But now the gold trade is set up because just like the yen, when I said you're supposed to get at least two big down days, then the turnaround, gold already had two big down days. So likelihood is tomorrow the turnaround. Let me show you some charts. Let me give you some strategy on that. And then I'll give you the levels where we're looking to buy and sell. And we'll wrap this thing up and jump back into the markets and see where they are right now. I could say this. A lot of volatility out there. A lot of volatility out there in the indice markets. So be careful and make sure you place your stops in areas that shouldn't get you knocked right out. You know, I've said this a bunch of times as far as trading in the indices go. If you're going to step up to the plate of a big league ballpark with a wiffle ball bat in your hand, it's not going to happen. You'll never win the game. And by a wiffle ball bat, I mean if you're going to trade with a two-point stop, and something as insane as the E-mini S&P or the NASDAQ, it's not going to work. You need a big bet. You need a big stop to trade this. If you're going to trade the big boy's game, make sure you place a big boy's stop. All right, traders, let's go take a look at the charts. I'll be right back to you. Okay, traders, what you're looking at here is the December NASDAQ daily bar chart. I had shown this chart or a chart close to this one in the past where we have... Uh, head and shoulders formation, then the market breaks down, goes up, creates another head and shoulders, but creating the shoulder head never created the second shoulder, market dropped. But in reality, what this is, is a larger head and shoulders forming. You got a shoulder, a head, and this should be the right shoulder forming. Right now, the NASDAQ has had a major day up yesterday. Also, it had an updated day before, but it wasn't a big update. So we had a major update yesterday, and we expect another update today, being Thursday. And then after that, maybe it'll start to come back down and mess around in here and build the right shoulder. So in order to capture that strategy, we're going to look for a second day up in a bear market. We're going to look for that second day up and buy it on the way up. We're going to try to be out before the end of the day and then see if by Friday it wants to turn around and end up back in here. That's what the, the NASDAQ chart looks like. The S&P chart is very similar. Let's take a look. All right, traders, what you're looking at now is the S&P December daily bar chart. A couple of differences. One, 200-day moving average. We are still well below that average being right here in the 1470 area. NASDAQ, on the other hand, the average, let's say, was here. The NASDAQ sitting up here, well above the 200-day average. That tells me that they are likely going to try to pull the S&P up another day and get close to that 200-day moving average. Let's see if they do that. That's very high expectations because that average is 1506 or somewhere right around there. 
I'm not looking for that high. I'm looking for somewhere in the 1490s. But the fact that NASDAQ is above the 200 and looking to go up for another day should pull the ER2 or the Mini Russell and the E-Mini S&P up with it. So that's what we're expecting. Another second day up in a bear market. Day one was yesterday. Day two we expect to be Thursday. And then maybe if we get close to that 200 day, we can come back and fill in the rest of this shoulder. The difference, another difference between NASDAQ and S&P is you already have shoulder, head, and half the shoulder formed in the S&P. Whereas NASDAQ has the shoulder, the head, and we have not began forming the right shoulder yet. So it's interesting to see what's going to happen. There's a little bit of a tug of war. NASDAQ usually is our leader. Let's follow the leader and see if we get another update out of the S&P. Okay, traders, what you're looking at now is the February gold. This is Feb 08. December gold has rolled over to February gold. And the Feb gold chart looks a lot like this. Still some really strong support across this market. Omni says to buy two big down days in a bull market. Down day one, down day two. Omni says jump back in there now and get yourselves long. Looking for this to move up Thursday and then gold bug Friday. So the pattern is perfect. Take us down Monday and Tuesday into Wednesday. Take us back up Thursday and by Friday we get the gold bugs to come in and do their usual Friday buying spree. It's a great scenario. Technical indicators would have you think gold has another couple of days to come off. But you're supposed to buy two big down days in a bull market. We have two big down days. We expect the market to hold and turn around. That's what I was referring to a little earlier in the video before I put up the charts. The opposite, we were looking, well, we were looking at the same sort of thing in the yen, but trading it the opposite way. The yen had one down day, a big down day after a rally in yesterday's video. So we said, okay, Wednesday, you're going to have another big down day. That day came. Then we expect the turnaround hook back up. That is the same scenario we're expecting for gold. You had a bullish market, down day, down day. Now the turnaround day. Let's buy it and see what happens. Okay, traders, so you've seen the charts. You see we have some reasoning behind these three trades. Let's go right to the trades now and see what we have. S&P E-Mini, the SPZ7 for the large contract, the ESZ7 for the mini. Omni says to buy the mid to high 1460s. The high to mid 1460s as the market comes down a little bit, trading about 1470 currently. If we get into the high to mid 1460s, we're looking to buy some S&P and see what we get. I will tell you right now, this trade is not for anybody who has a pacemaker. It's not for any orphans or widows. It's not for anyone with a little account. And it's for nobody with a wiffle ball bat in their hands. Because this requires a massive stop. Stops are large on this one tomorrow. Due to the recent volatility, you have no choice. you got to play with a big stop. For you traders at my site, you silver members, find a good spot for your site, for your spot traders. For your stop, find a good spot for your stop traders and make sure it's out of the way. For you gold members, go to the site and find out exactly where we'd like to put our stop because it's going to be important tomorrow. All right, so you're going to buy the mid to the, the high to mid 1460s. Omni's profit objective on that trade is the mid to the low to mid 1490s. Looking for another 30 point pop tomorrow. We had one today. Why not get one for Thursday and then maybe the turnaround and knock us back down on Friday. But that's thinking too far ahead. Tomorrow's Thursday and for Thursday we likely should get another big up day in the, in the bear market. Opposite now of yen and gold where you had bull markets and two down days. The indice markets have been bearish and we've had a couple of up days. Tomorrow I expect it to start off on the upside and run up a little and then maybe you may need a parachute But for now, let's take it long and see what we're gonna get. All right one more time You're buying it in the mid to high or the high to mid 1460s Look at the jump out if you get somewhere in the 1490s. All right Nasdaq e-mini the ENZ7 Omni says Buy the, buy the NASDAQ in the mid to low 2070s. The mid to low 2070s. Omni's prof, profit objective on this trade 
is the low to mid 2140s. The NASDAQ's got a lot of buying in it. It looks way stronger than the S&P. It's above the 200-day moving average. The stocks relatively are cheaper to buy in the NASDAQ than they are in the S&P. And traders are out there buying them. Am I becoming overly bullish? Not me. I think the economy's got some trouble, and I think we will head back down. But today is a day that it looks like it wants to go higher. So for the NASDAQ, get yourself long in the 2070s. Find a sensible place for your stock. Jump out if you get above the 2130 into the 2140 zone. What a trade that would be if it comes our way. I will say it again, traders. Do your homework first before you take my advice. Because, hey, we're going to be down 300 points in the NASDAQ tomorrow. And how would I know that's coming? News can come out of the woodwork that nobody expects. And just turn us the other way. Do your homework first. Almost always the news comes out in the charts. So look at your charts and see what you think about the NASDAQ. Next, all that glitters is gold, they say, right? We got a gold trade lined up, another green on me. I love when gold goes higher. The ZGG8 contract, Omni says, buy the mint to low 800s. The mint to low 800s. Right now, we're trading about 811, 812. We get down below 810, somewhere between 810 and 800. Get yourself long. If you are a member of my site, get to my site and find out exactly what that number is where we're trying to buy gold. Again, that's going to be important tomorrow. So you're going to buy gold as it breaks below 810, somewhere between 810 and 800. You're going to look for profit in the mid to high 820s, the mid to high 820s by Friday. Again, gold bug Friday, right? If we get long and get lucky and get long on Thursday and it holds, and the market holds, Maybe we'll hold on to that trade and ride it right into Gold Bug Friday and see what we get. In any event, be out by the close S&P, be out by the close NASDAQ, and keep an eye on my site if we're going to go long overnight in the gold. I will keep you informed. So stay at the site. Make sure you check with me throughout the day on what's going on in the gold trade. Okay, traders, remember, keep your emotions out of this. It is not a game about emotions. It is not gambling. And don't let those charts pull you in. Don't let those ticks... As they're ticking by, board up, down, up, down, up, down. Don't let that pull you in. Once you start staring at that too closely and it pulses, and you know what I'm talking about when that screen starts pulling you in. Once that happens, the emotions go and you trigger bad trades. It happens to everybody. So keep your emotions out of this thing. If you can't keep your emotions out, come on down to our site, www.livewithoscar.com. And get involved in our trading community where we will teach you how to get your emotions out of this. It's extremely important to do that, traders. And a great way to do that every day is to say what we like to say at the end of each one of our videos. And I'll get to that in just a minute, but you're going to have to hear my phone number first. Give us a call anytime, day or night, 702-629-4755. And if you'd like to do homework, traders, do your homework on these markets. Send me a chart with some analysis typed on that chart. I will evaluate that and shoot it back out to you. Easiest way to send that to me is at oscar at futuresanalysts.com. That's my email address. Shoot out those emails. I will certainly look at your homework for you and evaluate. Okay, traders. Hey, just to let you know, I am a broker. I would like to be your personal broker. I would like for you to open up a trading account with me. And when you do that... You are invited into my premium trading room with the cameras and the microphone and the live trading going on all day. You also get invited to my daily analysis classes. And it is a great trading community. It is a place where you're in touch with me 24 hours a day. Call me on the telephone. Come to my chat room. Interact with me. I am your personal trading coach once you open up an account with me. Simply come to my site. Click on open a trading account with Oscar on the home page and you can open up an account right online. So come on down, open up an account with me and become part of my trading community and I will be there to help you. All right, traders, one last thing I'll mention is don't forget about Omni Slots. You guys are doing great. I see you guys are earning all kinds of Omni Bucks using the Omni Slots. And already a bunch of traders have traded in or redeemed their Omni Bucks for daily analysis classes. So it's working. I'm helping so many people out there. It costs you nothing to play the Omni slots and you earn Omni bucks. So trade them in and come to our analysis classes. All right, traders, 
Don't forget, last but not least, say this to yourselves every day, every morning, every evening, before you trade, and especially after you've placed your orders. And you know what that is? Stops are in! Emotions are out! Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. That being said, I am a 24-year seasoned trader on and off the floors. This is how I've made my living for many, many years. Good luck trading.